<laughs> What's up? <laughs> a fucking grader went up the ladder, got onto the rope, and tried to like swing across and plunge attack me, but fell right into the fucking ocean. <laughs> Hey guys, it's been a long while since my last video, and I've been sitting on this collection of clips for about a month now, so I figured it was finally time I did something with them. Please remember to do all the YouTube things, like comment and subscribe, and I'll let you get back to your irregularly scheduled content. Enjoy more of me and my friend just dicking around. The newest hero we go we got was uh was a Viking. The Varankian guard. Yeah, the the Varangian. The uh the Vikings, but they went to Russia instead. Mm. Thought they were a part of the uh da, 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 what's it called? Byzantine Empire. Like historically. I think some of them got down that far, but um Varangian as far as I know is the um set of Vikings who originated, or, you know, generally uh, uh, Nordic Viking-ish culture that was in uh, Sweden and Finland instead of over in Norway, um, mm. or, you know, in those modern terms, and they went east instead of south and west. And <clears throat> in my Russian history class, one of the last classes in college that I had, uh, these are the guys who um, formed one of the... Uh, first proper governed states in that region, because at that point the um, tribal folks living over there couldn't really govern themselves, and they looked at the Vikings and said, hey, there's some power and some governance there, and they invited them in to come and um, govern for them, at least that's what I learned from that particular class. I don't know if that's exactly how it went, because it's kind of fuzzy, and mm. the one thing you learn from history is that you never ever invite somebody else to come and govern you because it never goes well. Mm. Well, from what I read about the Varangian Guard, they were uh, they were guards of the Byzantine Emperor, and they were recruited from up north, like so from I that think... area, because uh, just due to the fact that if you know there was ever a revolt to be held they wouldn't really give a fuck. They would just go with the guys already paying them. They wouldn't have, like, other reasons besides money to... Got to, it. So, to fight so I, think I, I, I think I see your problem here. You're looking at Varangian Guard and not Varangians. Varangian Guard, yeah, is, as you said, the Byzantine Empire, but they're recruited from farther north. That's how they get the name Varangian Guard, because they're just, you know... Oh, they must be from up north? Oh, they're the Varangians. Hmm. I suppose that's very plausible. I'll be honest, I just typed in Varangian, because that's the name of the hero, is Varangian Guard. Or is Varangian. it Varangian Guard or just Varangian? No, it's v Varangian Guard. Okay, that's weird. Yeah. I guess it makes sense that, you know, it could be the, the Guard as well, because I'm looking at a map here that says... Or that shows um, Varangian trade routes through Eastern Europe, and it does get down to Constantinople and the Byzantine Empire. Mm. So, makes sense. I hit them both. Victory. Mm. This is not helping the Nabushi X Warden fanfiction. No, it isn't. <laughs> I wonder if people are still making fanfiction about this game. God, that'd be fucking wild. That would be weird. My coworker Clover is really into fanfiction stuff. Mm -hmm. He's writing like he's writing Overwatch fanfiction at the moment. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no offense to the man, but... Oh, God. <laughs> he admits that it's shameful that he's back into it. He also says the only reason he's back into it recently is because Destiny 2 is so far down the shitter. <laughs> Dude. 
Yeah, I can't really. Destiny Two did this to me. <laughs> I can't really say anything. The other night, I was reading fucking has been hotel fan fiction, and I thought I could do something with this, despite having never seen the fucking show, <laughs> like a full episode of the show. Uh, I was thinking of doing a um crossover fan fiction between Dark Souls 3 and the anime Delicious in Dungeon. Oh. That sounds interesting. It is interesting. Clover recommended oh. that I read the manga before I watch the anime. You know, as you do. Yeah. But, I mean, the anime is fun. It's like... I don't think it's supposed to be sort of a comedy, but also there are horror el elements to it. I can see the horror elements. I don't know about the comedy part, and like it, mostly it just kind of makes sense to me. Well, which Clover informs me. Well, if you're thinking like the main character, uh, Lyos, and I said, yeah, I think of it like him. It, it, Clover says, well, congratulations, Lyos is very autistic. You might want to get a test. <laughs> <laughs> So well, did you go get a test? No. <laughs> I mean, I took an online quiz, but that's hardly a thing. Uh, well, yes, those ever-reliable online you quizzes known for their accuracy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh dear. What is it? Uh, uh, just crossover art between <laughs> uh, so in Warhammer 40,000 there's the faction called the Tyranids yes the, the are, giant like bug thing uh, yeah they are the angry angry bug people from outer from beyond the Milky Way galaxy mm -hmm. I found art of the my little ponies as Tyranids I'm just going through my normal Facebook feed. I didn't go looking for this. What the fuck? In fairness, not far below that is a uh, photo from a news article which says, Make better choices. Endangered Hawaiian monk seals keep getting eels stuck up their noses and scientists want them to stop. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about my my feet being weird. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh no. Uh. So I just I just had a random memory back to something that happened uh, during ye olde days of the pandemic. Mm. Uh, at that time, like the actual Formula One season got delayed, like everything else. Mm -hmm. And so they started doing, like, they did a couple of uh, Grand Prix on the video game just to, you know, hold us over until the actual season could get going. Mm -hmm. um, and one or two of these they held with, like, some uh, players of the game in addition to some of the real drivers. And mm -hmm. I just remember finding it endlessly hilarious that some of the actual F1 commentators, uh, you know, doing their best to do serious commentary... <laughs> But they were having to talk about the serious F1 drivers being overtaken by a player you named Yeetus so Magnetus. <laughs> I'll, I'll do the quick summary of the, the good news for the world politics, the good event that happened earlier this week, actually. Oh, recent Sweden news. Sweden was accepted into NATO. Oh, yeah. So we have another friend. And it's <laughs> time officially now to give the award to Vladimir Putin as NATO's best recruiter. <laughs> I'm sure he's so happy to receive that title. We're continuing to supply um, Poland, aren't we? Like, I believe so. Poland <laughs> purchased a whole bunch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the speed bump now has teeth. I repeat, the speed bump now has teeth. <laughs> what was it? The... Uh... The, the missile system, the HIMARS that we sent like 20 of, um, and it functionally ground the Russian army to a halt. You, uh, Poland looked at that and thought, hmm, I'll have four times that many. Yep. 
Yeah, they they fucking bought like everything. They yeah. bought everything besides the F twenty two, and that's only because we aren't allowed to sell them. Because we wouldn't. Yeah. Congress has a law in place saying we can't sell those yet. Yeah. Maybe when they become real outdated, we can give away some of our toys. At the rate things are going, that's going to be a while. Yeah. I thought Cause... the I thought the F-22 was supposed to be like slated to be moved out of active use. That doesn't mean it isn't still fun- pretty capable. It's just that... You know, it, it's got old software at this point, or old hardware that can't support software updates, really. Yeah, yeah we're, we're what, working on, was it Gen 6 aircraft now? Or Gen 7? 6, I think, is the theory, although no one's produced anything credible on that yet. Yeah. It's all just, you know, black projects and rumors. Yeah. I don't know, we should probably go to the, the War Thunder forums. Oh, see what we can find. Uh, I can hear the uh, the Ace Combat Seven uh, warning. Uh, caution! Pull up! Caution! Pull up! <laughs> caution! Missile. Pull up! Missile! 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 <laughs> the real boss battle soundtrack of Ace Combat. Missile! <laughs> Missile! <laughs> Playing PvP in that game, and then all three of the enemies decide to target you. Just oh, focus God. you. All you hear is missile, 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 missile. I've got a clip of that on my YouTube. <laughs> it's just like I'm in an F-16, and there's a MiG-21 behind me, and I can't outturn him. I can out, I can outrun his missiles, but he's just sat there behind me, re- shooting them, and I can't get away. <laughs> So it's just, like, it's a solid, I think that at one point there's an unbroken 30 seconds of me just in a turn, and you just hear, Missile, Missile, Missile. <laughs> missile. missile. Uh, that is one of many reasons is why I could never do a uh, combat, or like PvP in that game. The other part of it is because I suck. Oh, yeah. I, I had an idea for like a food-based isekai type story, but... The opening scene of which is like the final battle with the Demon King and everything. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you have that going on, and then immediately um, the story begins where most stories end. And, like, you know, the party goes their separate ways, Kingdom is safe and everything, and it cuts to, like, two years later where uh, protagonist guy and his love interest are just, you know, sitting in the mansion that they were awarded for this. And mm-hmm. protagonist is just like, I'm fucking bored. What the hell do I do? I literally beat the world boss. <laughs> and, I beat you know, the world boss, so I decided to become a world-class chef. Basically, yeah. <laughs> the idea was basically, you know what? I'm, you know, he's just bored with his, you know, with his love Victory. interest. And mm. it's like, okay, you know what? I'm, you know, I miss being at home because at home I had pizza. <laughs> Hmm. I wonder if I can find pizza in this world. And he's like, well, no one's made it, but here's some ingredients here, here's some other ingredients there. Time to go on a new quest. I'm going to gather all the ingredients to make pizza in this fantasy world. (laughs) Uh, That's something. It's supposed, like, the idea was it would just be, like, you know, a wholesome comedy thing. But, I don't know. It's probably too silly. I don't know, man. There's some very silly isekais out there. Hell, Konosuba is one of them. Yeah, but Konosuba is silly because it's a parody of the isekai genre. Yeah. Like, it being silly is its entire shtick. Yeah. I'm also suddenly reminded of... It's not an isekai, but the anime Food Wars... Which is oh, God. which is a food anime if it was borderline hentai. <laughs> and also partly JoJo. <laughs> because like the flavors and the smells of the various dishes take on humanoid Stand. forms and yeah. punch each other. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. No, I know, I've I've seen it. Uh, it's so dumb. 
Yeah, the flavor's so good, it literally blows the taste testers' clothes off, <laughs> and then the flavors begin to punch each other. Yeah. <laughs> because, freak you, Japan, I guess. Yeah. Fuck you, that's why. <laughs> Japan's like, incomprehensible bullshit, go! <laughs> about to get on a real sour note. Did you see what I, I posted in the the ship chat? Um. About Jingles? Or how have you seen his latest Mingles with Jingles video? Uh, no. I saw that it is uh, titled It's Been a Rough Week. Yeah. He, uh, it was diagnosed with bowel cancer. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. That's worse than I thought. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, he, um... He, according to him, he feels mostly fine. So... That's, that's something, I guess. Yeah. Even so... Damn. Yeah. Not pleasant. He made an announcement in that video that, you know, he's gonna have to... You know... In, in the event that something untimely happens to him you know, relatively quickly, you know, the cats are going to go stay with, oh god, what's her name? Rita? Uh, yeah, are going to go yeah. stay with Rita uh, in, you know, Jingles' current current place. Um, mm -hmm. She's going to move in and take care of him, but he still needs to play, he, he still needs to pay the, the place off, like the mortgage or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, he, made, he made an announcement that, you know, he's going to be trying to make as much money as possible so prepare for some of the worst sponsorship ads we've ever seen before <laughs> fair enough yeah man i feel like i feel like there have been a lot of content creators in the past year or two that have you know caught uh not caught you don't exactly catch cancer but have been like diagnosed with it yeah like, Technoblade died, what, a year or two ago? Because he had cancer in his, I think it was his right arm. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, Vexoria has cancer of some kind. I don't quite yeah, remember. Vex had breast cancer, though I heard that had a, a decent outcome for now. You lost mm. zone A. Like, <laughs> she got the scar added to her model. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Like, she, like... She's able to go into the whole story now. Like new people will come to her stream and it's like, it's like, why is there a scar on your tip? <laughs> it's like, well, funny story. <laughs> I had cancer. <laughs> Man, that's a that's not a conversation starter. That's a conversation like jaw dropper. <laughs> that's like just a, yeah, you ask pull that the wrong out. question. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's like, just accept it as my lore and move on. <laughs> yep, just... Just accept it, don't ask questions. But yeah, you know, Technoblade, Vexoria, now Jingles. Shit. Shit's rough. Yeah. Fuck cancer, man. One of... One of many afflictions that... I understand it's technically a natural thing, but it doesn't fucking feel like it. Well, there's a lot of unnatural things that can bring it about faster. Do you know how many things are labeled known to the state of California to cause cancer? <laughs> no idea. I'm, I'm gonna many guess things. a lot. <laughs> Like, I mentioned that I'm putting my fish on, it's like, anti-parasite meds. Mm -hmm. Did you know what that thing was labeled as? Has a chance Known to cause to cancer? Known to the state of California. To cause cancer. Surely that's only, like, if you're stupid enough to ingest it, right? Correct. In which case, I'm gonna be honest, if you're stupid enough to ingest fish medicine, you probably deserve it. Natural you, you selection know the at whole that thing point. About people taking a horse dewormer to cure COVID, right? Okay, you say that like it isn't similarly stupid and they don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> 
like I said, natural selection. Ugh, if only it were more effective. Yeah. Look, I know it sounds I know it sounds mean and cruel and and whatnot, but if you're gonna be that stupid, you really do deserve it. It's like what's how does the country song go? If you're gonna be dumb, you better be tough. No. Yeah. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. That kind of thing. For honor. <laughs> 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 oh no. Uh I just found um a Facebook post of the um <clears throat> so I, I don't know like if you're into models at all, like model making. Not really. Eh, well there's a uh, one of the big model making companies is called Revel and they've got a like a particular uh box art style where they've just got, you know, the picture of, you know, like the art of whatever model it is, be it like tank or plane or ship or whatever it is in, you know, most of the box with the uh, sort of a blue turquoise almost uh, border and their label and everything. I've just okay. found a picture, you know, it's the, clearly just their style, their box, but the picture of what's supposed to be there is empty. It's just an empty ocean and it says Russian cruiser Moskva. <laughs> uh, next to the the uh, Vortigers event going on, it is also Black Prior Hero Fest. Ah. So he's got a new execution that is. Do a barrel roll. It's not. It's not horrible. Let's fix up my orders. Oh, I have a. I've realized I now have breach orders that I didn't have on. Don't worry, Too late. I don't have to do them. Not going back now. <laughs> Alright, committed warrior. One's with a friend at my side. You'll have to do. <laughs> Oi! Fuck sorry. you! <laughs> it was right there, I'm sorry. Ow, my fucking ego. <laughs> Dickhead. I pray that I get these arms soon. I really don't want to just play Warden. It's not a bad hero, but, you know, variety is the spice of life. Yep. And goddamn, I am as spiceless as Britain. We must win fast. We must win fast. Bitches. How did we lose one? They were all dead. Ah, uh, the their minions got a kill on one of ours. Ah, uh, oh, motherfucker. Well. That was still the greatest dumpstering we've ever done. <laughs> but yeah, and for, for uh, that uh, delicious in dungeon crossed with Dark Souls Three, I was just thinking I'd have the delicious in dungeon cast going through the levels of Dark Souls Three. <laughs> And just seeing what was there for them. Well, considering most of the enemies you meet, especially in the earlier levels of the game, are humanoid. 
they do have a rule against eating humanoids. So, they might, they're, they're probably just gonna starve. Eh, they'll get through the levels quickly, I guess. Unless you can convince them to eat uh, a giant crystal lizard in the first, in the tutorial area. That'll Dogs. Dogs or pus of men in uh, high wall. Well, in the when you get to the uh, firelink shrine, there are seeds of a giant tree. Guess so. Yeah, but you only get one of them every now and again, so. Well, I'll make them get invaded at some point. <laughs> Long finger, Kirk, coming in to ruin your day. <laughs> Oh, uh, you have to give him a, a, an even stupider title to fit with the, the cooking theme of the anime. It can't be Long Finger Kirk, it has Long to be something- Long Spatula Kirk. <laughs> Long Fork Kirk. <laughs> something like that, yeah. Long Finger Fork. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking doing this. That's you cannot true. stop me. Oh, at this point, I don't want to. That's brilliant. <laughs> Long finger four. <laughs> Instead of, like, the, the normal spikes that adorn his armor, it's just a bunch just of fucking sports. <laughs> 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 uh, the finale of this of this crossover is going to be when they meet Sigurd and they get to drink Sigbrower as the soup. Oh, uh, yeah. That, no, that can't be the finality. Sigurd has to be just like a reoccurring character. Ugh. Enemy team is breaking. How can we how can we flavor the bosses in this context? Abyss Watchers. <laughs> the the soup watchers. I don't know. <laughs> the watchers of the pot that never boils. <laughs> Cause you know that saying, a watch the kettle never boils or something yeah. like that. <laughs> but, like, they come in, you enter that boss room and instead of, you know, fighting each other, they're all just staring into a giant kettle <laughs> with a fire going. <laughs> and there's like, okay, hang on a minute, we almost have soup ready. They look up to see the characters coming back, and they look back and it has started boiling inexplicably in the fraction <laughs> of a second they looked away. <laughs> <laughs> Aldridge, Saint of the Deep. So Aldridge, Saint of... Saint of... Let's see, how can we... Spin that? Hmm. Aldridge, Head Chef of the Deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's see. What would it be? Waitress of the Boreal Valley. Valley? Oh, it's great. <laughs> Twin chefs, Lorian and Lothric. <laughs> uh, the curse molded great meal. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's fucking gross. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to adjust my orders so well. No. Oh. Oh, well. Let's see. <sighs> I'm trying to think of more. Yorm, the giant spatula. <laughs> Uh, it's not, it'll still just be Yorm the Giant, it's just the storm ruler you need to defeat him will be a gigantic <laughs> oversized spoon. <laughs> Badger's comedically large spoon. <laughs> oh, what's the, oh god, what's it called? <laughs> Iron? Hmm? Just, you, you get to, um, like, you get you think you're about to walk into the boss room of Soul of Cinder, and you walk in, and it's Gordon Rams. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Every time you miss an attack on him, he just says, Fucking donkey! <laughs> you get caught in his wombo combo, and it's just him yelling, It's fucking Ross! <laughs> he catches you in that bit where he like, impales you on the sword, and then lightning strikes you, <laughs> and it's like, Fuck off out of you my kitchen! <laughs> Uh, I'm a uh, state go karting champion. You are what? I am K1 Speed Colorado State Champion. At go herding. Go karting. Oh, go karting. Jesus okay. Go herding. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I mean, that would be fun, but when the hell would I have time to do that? <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. Goat carding makes so much more sense, and and I understand that now. Okay, that <laughs> that's understandable. Okay, I'm I'm not that pastoral. <laughs> I mean, I was it would like, be cool, and it would be good for my mental health, but I'm not. I was like, I'm sorry, goat herding? What the fuck? Anyway, yeah, so no, I good for you. The Scottish Highlands <laughs> one day. <laughs>